Match day one for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will make a statement in this, the opener? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the Korea Republic versus Japan. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the South Korea starting 11. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, it looks as though they're going to go with a 5-4-1. But the wing-backs will get forward when they can, and the two wide midfield players will join the striker, which would then make it a 3-4-3. And the match begins. Asano. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Kangin Lee. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Can he convert? Superb block. Well, I think many would agree, Hyung Min Son seems to be at the peak of his powers now. In what way might he contribute? Oh, big chance here, Derek. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And that's a great finish from Son. 1v1 against the keeper. He never looked like missing, did he? That's a great goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Takuma Asano. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Huang. And Lee Jae Sung with it. Now what can they produce on the flank? 
and space for him to cut in. Well, able to close down the shot and coolly done despite the mounting pressure. Gaku Shibasaki. Nagatomo. It is to be a throw-in. Kim Moon Huang. And Lee Jae Sung with it. Good movement. Could play it in. Wataru Endo, and that was a very fine read. This attack looks highly promising. Play towards the back post, and well, the danger is still there. And a significant block following that cross. Gaku Shibasaki. Takuma Asano. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Firing it towards goal. No way through. This is looking threatening. And options in the centre. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. This could level it. No way through. Son. A super tackle and they've won possession. Kamada. Good work to deny the opportunity. Not showing good defensive judgment. There will be one minute added on at the end. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, an influential performance so far from Son, you've got to say. How would you assess what he's put into the game, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Oh, great attacking play. Marvellous anticipation. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, just look at this. He's so alive to the situation. That's a neat-headed goal in the end. moving 
again. 2 0 is how it stands. Yoshida. Shogo Taniguchi. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Lee Jae Sung. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Moving the ball effectively. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Yoshida. Ito has it. Daizen Maeda. Strong but fair tackle. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Taniguchi. He continues his run. Could play it in. Could reduce the deficit. Oh dear. That moment might come back to haunt them. A bad miss. You sense that had to go in if they're to turn this around. They simply haven't been at the races today. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now, who can he play it to? Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? The conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? But the danger averted for now. This looks more than decent. Well, there to intercept. Oh, showing excellent vision. What a save! And a throw in it's going to be. Huang in beyond. And he read it well, intercepting it. And just five minutes remaining. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they get in behind them? And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Running room in the wide position. And a touch of finesse. And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books as a win for them. So morale is high. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. So, a top-level contribution from Hyung Min Son. How many times do we say that? Quite a lot is the answer. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. 